The House of the Dead 2 is one of the few games that needs its own BIOS before you can play it. So you need two files, the BIOS file and the ROM file. Links will be in the description. For the BIOS, you need to place it inside the data folder where your Flycast emulator is. I already have it. And then for the ROM, you can place it anywhere you want as long as you know where to browse for it later. Back in LaunchBox, I've already added a game. Let's run it. So it requires two credits to start. We need to insert the coin twice. So I've mapped that to the backspace key on my keyboard. Backspace, backspace. And my start button is the enter key. Skip through the sequences. The mouse is already pre-configured, but as you can see, there are no crosshairs, and you don't know where you're shooting. Because you're supposed to aim with this using a light gun. So we're going to add crosshairs to make it playable with a mouse. Let's escape. Next you want to open Flycast. Right click. Open Flycast. Settings. Controls. And here, under Dreamcast Devices, you want to set Sega Controller to Light Gun. And enable the crosshair. Click Done. Alt F4 to exit. Let's run the game again. The House of the House. As you can see, we already have a crosshair. We're meeting. So that's left click to trigger and right click to reload. Please be safe, G. How could anyone do this? That's it, that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.